Hey everyone, this tutorial is going to be an overview of everything Social Inbox. The Social Inbox is a tool where you can connect your social media accounts and then on Simplified, you'll be able to see all of your notifications, whether they be messages, tags, mentions, or comments. You can access everything social media by using the social media tab. And now let's access the inbox by using this inbox button on the left-hand side menu. You'll be brought to this page and on the left-hand side, you'll be able to see all of your different notifications. So first let's talk about accounts. You can use this icon here in the upper left-hand corner to open your connected accounts. Simplify's inbox is currently compatible with LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. You can add a new account by using this plus icon or by using this add account button. If you don't wanna see any notifications from one of these accounts, you can use this eye icon to hide those notifications. Another feature I wanna briefly mention here is this dropdown. You can create account groups to help you stay organized with your different social media accounts. This is very helpful if you're a social media manager and you have different clients and wanna section them off into different groups so you can stay organized. You can add a new account group by clicking here. If you have an account group that you wanna edit, you can use this settings icon and this window will open up. Here you can adjust the name of your group, the color of the group, and which of your connected accounts you want to include in that group. You can click save, or if you wanna delete the account, you can use this delete icon here. Now I'm gonna use this arrow icon here to close my account toolbar. And now let's talk about this dropdown here. Here I can see all the different types of notifications, including different platforms, as well as different types of notifications. So you can see I have Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, as well as comments, mentions, and messages. Next to each one of these type of notifications, you'll also see a number. This indicates how many unresolved notifications I have from this type of notification. The check marks indicate what is being shown in this menu here. Let's say I don't wanna see any LinkedIn mentions and I don't wanna see any LinkedIn comments. I can simply uncheck them, click apply, and that will reflect in which notifications I'm seeing here. Next, let's talk about this here. I can toggle this icon on, and now I will see not only my new notifications and unresolved notifications, but I'll also see resolved notifications. We'll walk through later how you can mark a conversation either as resolved or unresolved, but this is a great tool to know about. Now let's talk about responding to a message. I'm going to select this comment here. I know it's a comment based on this icon here, and I know it's from Facebook based on this indication here. I can see how recent this message is, and once I've clicked on it, I can actually see an entire history of the comments from this post. So if you scroll all the way up, you'll be able to see the original post. I can use this three dot icon to open it on the actual network, which would take me to the Facebook page and to this specific Facebook post. This helps you give you context when you're responding to a customer. And now let's talk a little bit about what's going on on the right hand side. Here you'll be able to see some more details about the conversation. You'll be able to see when the post comments actually started and the last time they were updated. And here is that button that we talked about earlier where if you mark this as resolved, it will no longer show in your unresolved comments and you would have to toggle this on here to see it in your streams and conversations. This down here gives you a glimpse into the original post as well. And you can use this button here to take you to that original post. And at the bottom here, you'll have the assignees. This is a great tool that you can use to assign people on your team and on your workspace to specific conversations. So I can click this icon here, this window will open up, and then I can assign a user to the conversation. Now, when this team member goes to their inbox, they will be able to go under this My category, and they will see that they have an assigned conversation. This is a great tool to use to help your team members prioritize important conversations and to make sure that multiple team members aren't working on the same notification. So let's talk about responding to this customer. There are a couple of things I wanna talk about here. First is this dropdown. You can actually leave an internal note. Now, when I use this button here, it's gonna send it as a note. So it will only be an internal message that people in my workspace can see. This will not be something that any of your customers can see. 
and it's indicated by this little note icon here, as well as an indication of who the original author was. You can use this three dot icon to delete the note once you're finished with it, or you can leave it up. So now I wanna talk about responding to the message. So let's return to the message option. In this bottom toolbar, you'll see a couple icons. This first icon is the media icon. You can click this and then get access to your media library from Simplify or upload an image directly from your device. You can also include an emoji with your message. And lastly, let's talk about snippets. Snippets are basically saved replies. If you or your team members are finding yourselves using certain copy over and over again, snippets are a great way to save a little bit of time and also create a unified voice in your entire team. So I like to create an intro and an outro message that I can use over and over. If you find that your customers are asking the same kinds of questions over and over, you can create a new snippet by using this add snippet button, entering the saved reply for your customers, giving it a title, and then click save. And then when you click snippets and this menu opens up, you'll see that snippet option and all you have to do is click. Another tool that you can use when you're responding to a customer is the AI assistant. Go ahead and select this. When this window opens up, you'll see all these different AI options that you can use. You can use the summarize option to summarize the conversation, or you can use the rewrite, expand, make more friendly, make more formal to adjust your current response, or you can access AI templates and documents. I'm gonna show you this here. On the right-hand side, the AI templates will open up. You'll automatically be brought to the customer support folder. And here you see all of the different templates that are commonly used when you're responding to customers. I'm going to highlight a portion of my text. And now I can see that the AI has actually popped up in this bottom toolbar. It gives me the options to continue my writing, rewrite, expand, write an entire section based on the highlighted portion, or create a snippet from this highlighted portion. I want to rewrite this, so I'm going to click this rewrite button. And in just a few seconds, the AI rewrote my entire response. Let's say I want to make this more friendly. I'm going to click the AI assistant and use the make more friendly option. So the AI knows when rewriting that I want to keep a friendly tone. And there you go. In just a few additional seconds, the AI has completely rewritten my content while keeping a friendly and informal tone. Again, these are all tools that you can use and customize exactly how you want in me. When you're finished with your message and you're ready to send, all you have to do is click this send button. So your customer will see this response just as if you're responding on Facebook. And you can use this three dot icon to either open the comment again on the network, delete, block the user or unblock the user if you've blocked them. Now I wanna come to the comment left by my customer. I can use this three dot icon I can use this icon here to mark it as resolved, which will remove it from my unresolved comments. You can complete that same action using this button here. I wanna talk about two more features really quickly, which is the unassigned tab, which will just show you an overview of all of the different conversations that have not been assigned to anybody on your team. And then lastly, I wanna talk about this filter icon. If you click this, a list of everyone on your team space will open up if I want to see only the conversations that a certain person or certain people are working on, I can make sure that only their name is checked and that will reflect in the conversations that I'm seeing. I can see that I have a filter on because this icon has now turned yellow. I can reset this by using this reset button and now all my conversations are back. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. We'd love to hear from you in the comments and do check out our other tutorials where we have step-by-step -step instructions on every single one of our features. See you there.